Hello and welcome back, Myth Junkies. It's Mama Mythos here, and this time, we're diving deep in search of the origins of the Leviathan and showcasing various examples found throughout pop culture. If this is your first time here or you're back because you're a lore whore, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Now let's take a deep breath and submerge ourselves into the depths of Leviathan's lair. So what do you know about this deep sea dweller? Leviathan is mentioned across various religious platforms, from Judaism to Christianity and some resemblances to other beings within Norse mythology. Leviathan was originally known as a primeval monster from the Canaanite lore named Lotan. But most know of Leviathan from the book of Job alongside his fellow friend of destruction upon the earth, Behemoth. Leviathan is commonly described as a large sea monster. It may have been the start of what early men would have nicknamed whales or crocodiles or any other large aquatic scary creature. The name Leviathan means twisted or joint. Its maw is big enough to engulf the world itself. Near Eastern religions had a habit of creating myths surrounding what's called a chaos conf a cosmic battle between a sea monster representing the forces of chaos and a creator god or culture hero who imposes order by force. The myth of Hadad defeating Lotan, Yahweh defeating Leviathan, Marduk defeating Tiamat in the mythologies of the ancient Near East are classical examples of the chaos comp theme, but also reflected in Zeus slaying of Typhon in Greek mythology and Thor's struggle against Jormungandr, the World Serpent. As previously mentioned, Leviathan is commonly known within biblical texts. In Job 3.8, Psalm 74.13, Leviathan is attributed with both the primeval sea and in apocalyptic literature as the devil. Leviathan has been around since before creation and will be defeated during the end times. In the Book of Enoch, there are three mythical creatures identified by their place among the world. Behemoth is the primal monster of the land, Leviathan is the primal monster of the waters of the sea, and Ziz the primal monster of the sky. If you'd like for me to do a video on Ziz, you don't have to twist my arm. This arrangement of creatures described by their elemental space also reminds me of the four holy beasts of multiple Asian cultures, the tiger, the phoenix, the tortoise, and the dragon. This is definitely a topic I'd be willing to unfold for you guys. Let me know below if that's something you'd like to see. As far as ancient texts go, it is told that their creator will approach them with his mighty sword and slay them both. Then from the beautiful skin of the Leviathan, God will construct canopies to shelter the righteous, who will eat the meat of the behemoth and the Leviathan amid great joy and merriment. Well, it's now or never, my favorite Leviathan. Well, it might be typical, but Final Fantasy has the best version of Leviathan in my opinion. His powers and physical appearance constructed by Square Enix can be described as majestic and frightening. He is known as a boss throughout the series and can also be used as a summon. He even has his own worshippers who call upon him in time of aid or defense. This primal of the realm of Final Fantasy has enveloped the features and details one can appreciate and pays homage to the true Leviathan within scripture and story. Who is your favorite Leviathan? Let me know in the comments below. Well, that'll do it. Another video down and a list of more to go. I can't thank you guys enough for watching the videos I've made so far. It gives me this warm fuzzy feeling of accomplishment every time I upload a new video for you, and even more so when you guys leave me awesome comments. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring my bell to be notified of new videos. I'll see you guys on the flip side, and thank you for letting mama break down the mythos.